Hey there clan and welcome to a very different video than I'm going to usually do and this is probably going to be a relatively short video but with the recent debacle with uh, the whole Order 1886, 1886 uh, the Order 1886 uh, it seems about the right time to actually talk about this topic and that is value uh, when it comes to games this is a very touchy subject and also an opinion uh, as with any other medium now Firstly, let me just say, I'm not going to talk about the Order 1886. I'm not picking up on day one. I'm going to wait and see what my personal people, my my favourite reviewers and people whose opinions I trust say about the game once, once it's out. So, but instead I'm actually going to talk about other things. I'm going to tell, because I do get asked this question every now and then, about my valuation system. How do I feel and how do I come to the realisation that something is worth it, in my opinion? As is, that's the whole concept of my worth or not reviews. Is it worth your time, your effort, and your money? Now, of course, I put it in an order. I always go money, time, and effort. Because effort, in my opinion, is the most important part. So I'm going to talk about my personal system. And how I determine if something's worth my money. And, of course, worth, more importantly, worth my enjoyment and val value of entertainment in all aspects of medium. So, without further ado, let's dive into this. Cue the intro. Okay, so I'm actually going to talk about my valuation system. Now, overall, I don't really have a a game, a game, a movie, a comic, or whatever, it has to give me this amount of uh, entertainment to, equals one pound or something like that. I don't have that system. The only system I have is did I enjoy it and do I feel that the money that I paid for it was worth it? I'm going to use a couple of examples here. I've got some games, some comics, and some DVDs, and both movie and TV show, and I'm going to tell you what, what I enjoy, why I paid the price that I paid for them. So, We'll start off quite simply with, the, with Dragon Age Inquisition. I think it's worth it. I enjoyed this game immensely. I've talked to death about this game, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. You all know how much I love this game, and I feel like I paid the money I paid, and I got what I wanted out of it. But a game that maybe some people might not feel like was worth the money when it first came out is Wolfenstein The New Order. I really like this game. This game is roughly 12 hours long. It's a single player game, which maybe you'll probably do two playthroughs of due to a choice that you make in the game. I like this game and I think it was worth the money that I paid for it, which was brand new, roughly £45. I enjoyed it and I think it was worth it because I actually overall enjoyed the game. I had a great time playing it and also I felt as though the value of the game was worth the enjoyment I had for it. So I definitely thought that this was worth the money that I paid for it. That's my scaling system in a nutshell when it comes to games. Did I enjoy the game? How did, I, how did the game make me feel? Did the game make me think? And what overall did I really like about the game? Now the games might all have their flaws, but I always go with that scale. Did I feel like I enjoyed the game enough to merit the price that I paid for it? And I don't go with like how many hours of content the game gave me. I go with the enjoyment. On the contrast, Watch Dogs. I didn't enjoy this game. There were good aspects of the game that I liked, but I do not feel that I got my money's worth out of this because I didn't enjoy it. I it, To finish this game, it felt like a chore. It honestly felt like a chore to finish this game. So, compare this. It took me longer to beat the wa Watch Dogs because it has probably more content than wo the wo Wolfenstein The New Order. But I enjoyed Wolfenstein The New Order more than I enjoyed Watch Dogs, and I think Wolfenstein is a superior game to Watch Dogs. There's many other reasons for this, but that just shows that sometimes the quantity of something doesn't necessarily mean quality. So that's when it comes to games. When it comes to games, I go with the enjoyment. How did I enjoy it? Did I like it? What did I think was the best aspects of it? What problems were there? Because every game has their problems. I don't go like one dollar has to equal one hour or five pound equals one hour. I go with my enjoyment. As it says, I enjoyed Wolfenstein more than I enjoyed Watch Dogs, but Wolfenstein is a comparatively shorter game compared to Watch Dogs. So that's overall when it comes to games. And as it says, when it comes to the order, I've already stated my opinion. I'm going to wait to hear from people whose opinions I trust, whether the game be 
5 hours long or 10 hours long. Now I'm probably not going to have to pick up and release it due to the fact I do not have the funds for it. But to cover all mediums, I do have some kind of different scale when it comes to other aspects of things. For example, movies. This is the Avengers box set. I bought this. This, this contains every Phase 1 Marvel movie. I bought this because I enjoy these movies. I've watched every single one of these multiple times, including the sequels, of course, when it comes to Phase 2 as well, and Phase 3, I will watch every single one. I felt as I got my money's worth. I saw pretty much every single one of these movies, except for maybe The Incredible Hulk and Theatres. And I felt I got my money's worth out of it. That's what I say it is. I paid for this because I felt like I got my money's worth out of it, but because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it immensely. That's when it comes to movies. Of course, there's a slightly different opinion when it comes to TV series. The Legend of Korra being one of my favourites, along with the entire Avatar franchise. I enjoyed watching this. I enjoy it immensely. I definitely think these are some of the best shows that's came out in a long time. Even book one, is, even though I didn't enjoy book one as I did enjoy the other two, I still enjoyed them. And I still gladly paid the money to get these brand spanking new. I got all three of these roughly when they first came out, including this one on Blu-ray, and I will be buying the fourth season when it comes out on Blu-ray as well. And how I judge it by a TV show is quite different from how I judge it from a movie. How I judge it, and games as well. How do I feel about the characters, the overall story, the animation, that kind of thing. But the first thing that always comes in the criteria is enjoyment, and I enjoyed that show. Now we'll move on of course to of course one other last, one other geeky thing I do enjoy reading from time to time and that's comics. I pick up normally I pick up trade paperbacks or hard covers. The Batgirl series has been my absolute favourite series so far. I absolutely love this and I pa gladly paid the money I paid. I think I paid like 20 quid for this. And I enjoyed reading it. I had a time reading it and it was a blast. I enjoyed reading it and I felt as though the value didn't really matter to me. Did I enjoy it? Yes. Another hardback I bought recently, the library edition of the Dragon Age comics. I'm a Dragon Age nut. I bought this because I'm a Dragon Age nut. And I love these comics. They are fantastic, very well written stories, and of course the characters I absolutely love. Now normally as it is, I only pick up these. I pick up trade paperbacks. But occasionally I will pick up individual comics. And the main reason I go with how I value, how I value an individual comic is twofold. Did I enjoy the art? And did I enjoy the overall story, even if it is a singular issue? I have de dozens of issues of comics in there, of complete story arcs there. This is a one-shot, of course, this is Spider-Gwen. I picked this up because I was actually rather interested with the concept of Gwen Stacy being Spider-Man, sorry, being Spider-Woman. I picked this up for that reason, and I enjoyed reading it. And I feel as I, I got my value out of it. So that's my system. I don't have a system. I have an enjoyment scale. I go with how much I enjoy a game, or how much I enjoy a movie, a TV series, a comic book, a book. It all comes down to enjoyment for me. And as I say, as you all know that I am, if you don't know this about me, but most of you do, I am a story person and a character person. Story and character is what is paramount to me when it comes to any medium. Comics, movies, games, cartoons, animations. You name it, it comes down to that. It comes down to the, those two important things, story and character, and my enjoyment of it. And that is what is important to me. So, when it comes to the Order 1886, if I do eventually do decide to pick it up, I'll make my opinion on it, on the story and the characters. Do it, Even if the game is short, I'll make my opinion on it. So yeah, I felt like this was a good time to talk about that. That is my valuation system. I don't value it when it comes to money. If I have to pay 20 quid to get something that I enjoy, I pay 20 quid. If I have to pay 10 pound to get something I do, I pay 10 pound. If I have to pay 245 to get something I enjoy, I pay 245. That's what it comes down to. Enjoyment. Now it says that's my system, I'm sure you have your own. Let me ask you out there. What's your system when it comes to valuating something? Whether it be a comic, a graphic novel, a book, a game, a movie, a TV show, what do you value? How, what's your valuation system? So yeah, I think that's where I'll wrap things up there. I thank you for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren 92, and I hope you value my content as well. Ciao for now.